Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. You know what town we're in, don't you? It's Bristol, baby. Oh, you stole my line. <laughs> it is Bristol, baby. We did a video a while back from Virginia. Mm -hmm. So, so now we're doing the Tennessee side. Yeah, it's a little bit fair. big to do all in one thing. It's so. a little big to do either one of them in one thing. So yeah, we'll have to break it down after this, but this will be just a good little drive through to give you a kind of idea of the lay of the land. So yes. Let's quit freezing and start driving. What do you say? Sounds good. All right, we're starting here right outside. The world's fastest half mile. That's right. It's Bristol, baby. It's Bristol, baby. I hate that saying, but I say it every time I run a red light down here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, uh, so it's got its place in your life is what you're saying. It does, yeah. I guess it was made famous by Del Earnhardt Jr., right? Yeah. It's Bristol, baby. Nobody else could have made it famous, but yeah. Yeah, right. Have you ever been to race down here? No, I have not. I went to a... I've been to the Christmas lights. I have too, and that's great. I went to a Winston Cup, back when it was called the Winston Cup. Mm-hmm. Now, they are doing a popular country music concert every year called the Country Thunder. Morgan Wallen's been here this year. It's going to be... They've got a big line up this year. It's going to be Brooks and Dunn and like six other people. Wow. Is John Anderson going to be there? That Jelly Roll guy. Oh, yeah. Jelly Roll's huge here. I, yeah. Not my kind of music, but... I don't even know what he sings, to be honest with you, but... I've heard a couple, and it's just not my style, but yeah. I went back when the Winston Cup and saw a guy named Buckshot Jones got in a wreck and he lost his hood. That was pretty cool. Hmm. But yeah, I've never seen a real actual... NASCAR race. Back in the day, you couldn't get tickets. You couldn't get in here. Mm -mm. Now it's really dropped off quite a bit. Yeah, the property is around here. I remember, gosh, they were building stuff. They, everything was selling like hotcakes with extra syrup and oh, yeah. Lord Honey. Now they'll give it to you. I'm gonna call it the Condo Jinx. Whoever built those condos right across from the NASCAR, right after that, everything went to pot. Because <laughs> must be. Yeah. So. Like we said in the intro, Bristol, Tennessee is the twin city of Bristol, Virginia. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't self-explanatory, Bristol, Virginia and Bristol, Tennessee meet and they have a state street. Yes. Which is the state line. So it's a pretty cool thing. We also did a video on just State Street and kind of went in some cool places in there. And To the left, I'll cut you off as a drive-in theater, and I've been there several times. Have you ever been? I've never uh, been to that one, no. It's, it's really nice. They keep it up. It's been consistent, so. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a good place to take your family. Yeah, there's a school up here on the left. Is that the elementary school? Yeah, Voca. I got a speeding yeah. ticket there going 29 and a 25. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no joke. So I'm not a big fan of the school, so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here's the Mad Greek, and it's a great place to eat here. If you're it's up here, really I highly restaurant. recommend this one. Yes, very good. And it's Italian a lot. we mixed with some Greek food. So. Yeah. Um, so the population for Bristol, Tennessee, 2020 was two, uh, 27,147. Okay. So pretty good little population there. Um, it's probably best known for the Bristol Sessions, Jimmy Rogers, the Carter family. Yes. Good old, that's why I earned the birthplace of country music distinction for the, down through there. Mm-hmm. And so, Bristol was uh, first owned by Reverend James King, um, and that was... Mr. Joseph Anderson bought 100 acres of the plantation and named it Bristol. It was actually almost named Paradise. Paradise? Yeah, it almost was Paradise. Now it's just a good place to live. <laughs> <laughs> kind of faded off, chopped off. Yeah. Uh, there's Wild Bill Gatton's Honda over here beside us. It says Bristol Honda now, but it used to be Wild Bill Gatton who just passed away not too long ago. Now Walmart, right beside Bill Gatton's, a uh, good place to meet Ricky Morton. <laughs> Ricky Martin. Mickey Morton of uh, Rock and Roll Express, the wrestling, professional wrestler. Oh. There been several sightings of him there. Yeah. I said to throw that in. He's well respected and a Hall of Famer in the pro wrestling. You talk about getting them confused. They don't know where to wind their head or scratch their watch. No, no, no. We all get together. All we do is create stormy weather. Woo, you sure got that right. You know, Tony. 
We've done a lot of things in our life. And the things that we like, we've done it twice, baby. Now, this is called Volunteer Parkway. Yes. And quite hectic little drive a lot of times. Oh, yeah, it can be. You're saying and it, it goes all the way to Johnson City if you're going the opposite direction of what we're going now. We're yeah. going back towards Virginia. Yeah, you'd pass through Piney Flats to get there, so yes. Mm -hmm. That's how I always go to Johnson City. You don't like the interstate? I do not like the interstate, no. I don't blame you anymore. The more I get out there, it's, it's just a vicious place. Mm -hmm. I know you're talking about the Christmas lights. That's uh, back at the... Yeah, Crystal Motor Speedway, yeah. That's a huge event. It is a huge event. I take my daughter every year. Mm -hmm. and it's, I mean, it's a lot of fun. I also highly recommend that. So. Yeah, it's a good little event. I didn't want to they hear also it started doing Vintage Market Days. Oh, yeah. And they set up all kinds of, like, antique vendors and clothing and all kinds of good stuff. Highly recommend that, too. It's fun. Well, I would have liked to win, but somebody didn't invite me. Well... <laughs> you know, I thought it might be more of a girly thing, but I actually, once I got there, I was like, no, this would be good for guys, too. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Well, there you go. Well, that's right. So, I don't know if we mentioned on the Bristol, Virginia video, but Bristol has a minor league baseball team, the Bristol uh, Pirates. Yeah, I think we did mention that before when we okay. were through that because the field's actually on Virginia side. Yeah, it is. Okay. I couldn't remember if we mentioned it though. And Bristol just kind of melts in together. Yeah, it's not a big drastic difference other than the landfill. Mm -mm. So we bring that up every opportunity we get, I guess. Well, yes, the landfill is horrible and shame on the Virginia <laughs> side for letting it get in that mess. But yeah, yeah, Tennessee is suing them for it, so. Yes, so. Go Tennessee, I guess. We'll right. root for Tennessee on this one. Um, every year, they do Rhythm and Roots on State Street. We probably mentioned that before, too. It's always a big event. I feel like if it was the same weekend as that Country Thunder, though, I mean, it would get wiped out. Yeah. Country Thunder has been huge the last yeah. few years. They're bringing in, I mean, top of the food chain. Yeah, acts. great acts. Yeah. yeah, the Rhythm and Roots is kind of leveled off it seems like mm -hmm. still a good event but yeah a lot of fun a lot of fun well we have done an antique store here right yes we'll in, bristol. Try, in bristol we'll try something different the flea market mall the flea market mall i say we head in here and check it out what do you think let's check it out now tell me you wouldn't be in hog heaven for this oh all these, yeah of course all these barbies after we talked last time you said you had about 100 didn't you mm -hmm. well you can add to about 10 or 20 more here I love Barbie. Look how pretty. That looks like a good 90s Barbie. She looks like a shiny chandelier. I love it. Yeah, she's got the big hair too, didn't she? Oh, I had this one. German Barbie. Very cute. Makes happen? me want a pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they had a can. And he could have those little, what's those called? Pants called? Lederhosen, that's the word. Okay. Lederhosen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's no license plates. Oh, you yeah. can put one on there and pretend you're from Texas. Mm hmm I didn't realize how expensive those could be. I saw them somewhere else and they were really expensive. I've got a little collection from moving so much. I've got <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I've got a Tennessee one right now. I'll put up for sale. <laughs> I'm more of an antique store kind of guy, but what I like about these flea markets is it's just all over the place you might find something awesome and this isn't the typical flea market though no it's like but it's kind of a mix of antiques and flea markets yeah exactly and you see a lot of these spring up um but it's kind of like an indoor flea market type of mm -hmm. thing it's just a butter turner i really like that picture I think I threatened you with the butter trainer last time. I called your bluff. You act like you would do it. You would do it. And I don't think you did it. I can do it. Looks like you're in your natural habitat. Now, does that look like me or does that look like me? A big giant bullet welcome sign. Yeah, it does come look like I can see that sitting right up on my front yard. How do you show it to scale? Is that not awesome? 
You know who you get this for, don't you? Who? Leonard Skinner fan in your life. Give me back my bullet. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I first saw it, I thought it might be lipstick. Lipstick. <laughs> shows how much I know. It looks like a crayon. Or shows something. how much I know about lipstick. lipstick but, but I need that. I need that in my front step. I know that you love it. I can tell. One sixty dollars. I bought. <laughs> It's actually got a mirror. I feel like that's a haunted thing. It's like something that would be in the Warren's Museum of haunted things. This guy? Not a clown fan. This guy? You think this guy? Quit it. <laughs> Gives me a heebie-jeebies. It's weird that they put that mirror with it, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> You're the singer. Oh, I, I remember you singing Picture from Kid Rock. Here's a, some authentic Appalachian quilts. That's some of those gems we talk about. You run into here, you just don't know what you'll find, because I love stuff like that. Oh yeah, that's for sure. A lot of work goes into those. They do, they're expensive, but you think about the time and energy somebody puts oh into them. Oh my gosh, yeah. An artistry, really. Yeah. And there's embroidered crib sheet of bookcase. Well, it's not that's just antique, of, it's very antique. So you don't know George Burns and Gracie Allen? I don't. Oh my gosh. Comedy duo? Yeah. You said somebody compared us to them? Yeah, somebody compared us and thought we may be too young to know who they are. That's I'm, awesome. I'm not too young. You are. <laughs> I'm surprised you admitted to that today. What, uh, what is that? Electric cards. I have them shortened. This one's for the iron and this one's for the floor lamp and this one's for the table lamp. Well, why, why did you shorten them? To save electricity. <laughs> <laughs> Say good night, Melody. Good night. <laughs> Say good night, Gracie. Good night. Good night. What about this? Originally, as a village people, absolutely. This year. Yeah. You be the. Be the Indians. You're gonna be the. No, you're gonna be the biker guy. No, you're gonna be the biker. I've already been the cowboy. Yeah, that's true. In um, Cherokee. <laughs> That's what I said you look like last night. <laughs> so, Shane, you think this baby doll looks bad? <laughs> yeah, this is striking. <laughs> yeah, he does look a little creepy. So, what'd you get, Shane? Well, first of all, I got an old coal miner's dinner bucket. Hold it. Hold it right now. There you go. Yeah. Good. Looks good. That's legit old. You can see the rust on that sucker and everything. Oh, yeah. And then I got a Drizzy Drake thing to hang from. <laughs> yep. That'll be hanging right from my that windshield. That sums you up. It'll swing right into our camera. What's the writing on there say? D.E. Smith. Oh, no? and you're a Smith. Now, I'm not related to Drizzy Drake. Drake but, but he has paid us for lunch. He has paid us for lunch one time. Here <laughs> So, Bristol's a fun little place. Well, we'll actually be uh, down here for a show here pretty soon ourselves. Billy Idol and Brett oh, Michaels. Oh, yeah, there. yeah, that's right. How soon they forget? You forgot already. Well, I mean, I come down to shows pretty often. I love the Paramount. It's on the Tennessee side. Um, they do a lot of good shows down there, so highly recommend going to see a show there. I feel like there's, and I think they advertise it that way, there's not a bad seat in the Paramount because the way that it's built, I mean, you can just see the stage really good from anywhere you're sitting in there, and they're just really sweet and helpful. Yeah, I love it there. They have those volunteers that yeah. usher you and... Last time I went, I saw Big Bad Voodoo Daddy, who I see is coming back. Yes. I got a second row seat, and I'm telling you, that was amazing. So That's if awesome. you're watching this before that show and you're thinking about going, I highly recommend going. Yeah. Just checking out tickets myself again. That's right. But on the hill, there's Fats. No, it's IHOP now. What happened to Fats? I guess Fats closed. Right. Uh, Tennessee Ernie Ford was from Bristol, Tennessee. I think you were mentioning him earlier yes, off camera. I did. He's a big, big, big deal down here. He's and he was very loyal. I mean he was became one of the biggest stars in the country. But he was very loyal to Bristol. He always 
kept his roots up and awesome. they even called him the old pea picker and all kinds of good old stuff. One of his best known songs is 16 Tons. Sing a few bars for us. You sing it. I was raised in the cane, break by an old mama line. Can't no high tone woman make me walk the line. I love that line. <laughs> Reload you know, 16 Tons. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. Peter, don't you call me calls. I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Love it. There you go. You didn't ask me to sing the whole song, but you know, I ran with it and put, a little, right. put my own little spin on it. Um, I would be surprised if you didn't. No. <laughs> well. So, uh, Tennessee, the Tennessee side of Bristol has Tennessee High. Um, and they have a lot of con they used to have more concerts there than what they do now. Oh yeah, to, uh, there's a little bit of a dispute yeah, between the school and the people that try to put on the programs. Because I saw Alan Jackson mm -hmm. there a long, long time ago. One of our viewers was mentioning that Angela Davenport Smith, as a matter of fact. Awesome, yeah. She talked about that show, and I, I remember seeing that. And I saw several acts there, but boy, it was back in the day. They don't do as much anymore. Um, I used to go. They would put on like quite a few rock concerts when I was in high school, and I would go. And that's where I saw Hinder, I'm thinking. Or maybe that was at Freedom Hall in John City. Well, it's also where they had the Arby's Classic and um, basketball tournament. And that's where I saw Mac McClung cool. for the very first time in Purdue. Yeah, we saw him, he dunked on a team, and me and my son went to see it. So, And he is now the NBA dunk contest winner. So. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah, everybody knows that name now. Yeah. At least around here. But he's from Gate City. Yeah, he's from Gate yes. City. He just happened to play over here in the tournament. Yep. And it was so backed out. We came probably two or three hours early, and we were about the end of the line. They cut off. They wouldn't even let him work of a crowd in. He drew that big of a crowd. Oh, wow. Yeah, he was a that huge... That's so cool. Yeah. Well, there's plenty of red lights in this town. But... There used to be a Mr. Gaddy's right there. Yeah. And everybody from Bristol, if they're giving you directions, they'll say where Mr. Gaddy's used to be or where such and such used to be. And I've heard that. Many a times. Well, I would have said where Fats used to be because I didn't know it was going out of business. Well, I guess you can start saying that now. End of the day's in right there. Guess who stayed there? Elvis. Elvis Presley. Elvis, Elvis Aaron Presley. Presley. The Elvis Presley. The Elvis Presley. Boy, can you imagine if you went down here and saw no, him? No, I could not. That man was an uh, icon. <laughs> Your heart to come up with that word. I was trying to think of a name that <laughs> made him big enough. I was like, no, this legend, no, he's bigger than that. He's oh, an icon. Yeah. He's an icon. But it is definitely developing a huge music scene, and that's being helped mm -hmm. by the casino as well, obviously. Yeah. Which is a Virginia side, but. I was telling you, I saw HGTV had a show that um, was featuring Oak Ridge today, but they were talking about Tennessee is the home of country and blues and they're just yeah the whole state really from end at one end to the other is just full of good music uh, that to the left is cootie brown's restaurant and i highly recommend it too it's got every option you could ever yeah. probably too many it's like reading a newspaper you got 20, 20 pages yeah sometimes it's hard to figure out what you want to eat another thing they were talking on that hgtv show is that tennessee is known for their good barbecue yeah good memphis style barbecue. i was about to say when you hear that i think of memphis but yeah yeah well this is in Tennessee. So. Yes. But where we are in like this little area that we cover, East Tennessee, Southwest Virginia, that kind of thing, we also get mixed up with our old Carolina barbecue sometimes. And I know it's almost like a battle here at the where yeah, the Yeah. Of who who likes what. But most of the time it is Memphis style. Kind of strange Virginia doesn't really have a known barbecue type style. of barbecue, yeah. Yeah. We're known for true. peanuts. We now, just still Memphis barbecue because how can you beat that? Exactly. Well, now. So we decided to get some food here at Delta Blues on State Street. Same your song. No. <laughs> <laughs> now would you look at that spread? Is that not good stuff? What have you got? Barbecue pork sandwich. Barbecue pork sandwich and some corn, right? And that corn. Barbecue corn. And it doesn't get any better than that. Except we also got some banana pudding. And I got a barbecue tray with two pieces of corn because I just love it that much. And I'm a, I'm a lot cornier than you anyway. You are a lot cornier. Go ahead and... Oh, yeah. And this is Delta Blues, right? You gonna sing the song you composed for them? 
Okay, I'll just leave it. Delta Blues. Something about barbecue. I don't know. You did it. <laughs> Is that barbecue? <laughs> well, now, if you look, do not look to the left. If you look to the left of the two yellow lines, you're looking in Virginia. Yes. So keep your focus on the right. On the right. Yeah, so they got a draft house. I wanted to go in this Lark's amusement service. I would love, it used to have like all these video games. and Yeah. I would love to see, boxes. I always That's wanted to buy cool. one. There's also little art galleries, which I really appreciate. Yeah. Look at the traffic. I mean, this is just a daily thing now. Mm-hmm. And it, I mean, I'm telling you, I was here not that long ago when you couldn't draw flies down State Street. It was scary down here. And now it's built up to be just it a bustling. It stays huge. Yeah. Guys, so whoever put together the plan to get this thing resuscitated has done an amazing job. They did a good job. There's also the Pinnacle, which, you know, everything has moved from the Virginia side shopping-wise to the Pinnacle now. Yes. Which we don't like because of Tennessee tax. Yeah, true. Uncle Sam's has been here a long, long time now. They have. Now, 620 State's a great place to eat, too. And then we have, we're coming up on the Paramount down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of little great shops in Bristol. On Can either side, really. I feel like the Virginia side has more like antique stores mm -hmm. and the Tennessee side has more like bars. That's very <laughs> true. It seems very yeah. true. Yeah. I don't know what would be a difference. It's kind of weird. Either. See this, then what's now Bloom used to be a, uh, well, what's now Wells Fargo, but was at one time Wachovia and all that. And when I worked for them, they couldn't make loans in Tennessee. So you could yeah. literally walk across the street yeah. and not make, get, couldn't get a loan from them. It was That's just the darndest thing ever, yeah. And here's the Paramount. Yes, the beautiful. 49 sister. Winchester, and they are sold out. Yeah, it's been sold out for a while. Those guys are huge. Yeah. Just heard that they were in. Oh, and there's Theater Bristol. Theater Bristol is a great place to see a show, too. Right now, they're doing The Diary of Anne Frank, and I've heard that's a great show. Um, I've went and watched Rocky Horror Picture Show. Really? And, yeah, they put on a good show. It's also another place that, you know, every seat in the house is a great seat. But Absolutely. What was I saying about 49 Winchester? Oh, yeah, those guys were just in Europe. Really? Yeah. Here's the sign, the famous... Good place to live. Yes. Not paradise anymore. No, not a great place. Just a good place. Well, if it does, the landfill don't get fixed, then it'll be a fair place to live. <laughs> yeah, the Virginia pretty fair. side anyway. Yeah. Oh, we joke, we joke, we kid, we kid. A little bit. A little bit. The YWCA will cut down this yes. way and then call it a day. Um, Tennessee side also has a little putt putt place and they got a retro arcade that's yeah. a lot of fun you got the blue circle um, restaurant which is a popular blue circle, thing yeah and all right we'll take you to a few more little back streets here and we got like you say that we got to show the pinnacle don't we yeah definitely so we will head that way it's i've heard of people coming from you know driving a couple hours to go shop at the pinnacle well it ain't nothing for people from richlands to go there's the post office to the right okay yeah and then here's another kind of it's a back street to state street mm -hmm. so that's an institution here the mountain empire comics believe it or not it's been around a long time and yeah hydration station it's a great place I went yeah. there when i was sick and they helped me i went there when i was dehydrated so yeah i tried to tell him to drink water before he uh, went and he don't listen to me i've got the but... worst veins i mean i no, need a vein transplant just, that's because they're full of coca-cola well <laughs> I can't <laughs> instead argue. of Moving on There's along. an old post office on the left. Yeah. I just saw that. And here's King Manufacturing, or it's L.C. King, and they make all kinds of clothing and that type of thing. Oh, there it is, Pointer Brand Overalls. Yeah. And they are huge, believe it or not. It's awesome. Yeah. Overalls, coveralls, dungarees, slacks, work pants, shirts. Yeah, so you can see the burger bar. I like how the... Um, Roads that run perpendicular with State Street is numbered, kind of easy to game up with. Sixth yeah. Street, Seventh Street, Eighth Street. Watch out, there's a duck. Oh, it is. That's a goose. Goose. <laughs> duck. I know duck, that's what I'm saying. Goose. If you hit him, I was going to be so mad. No, no, I was looking for the duck. I was going to kill the goose just so I didn't hit the duck. <laughs> I thought she was worried about it. <laughs> you know how I am. I thought that chickens were cats. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you got busted on that one there. <laughs> I'll see possums in the road and think that they're like dogs. And... Well, our friend Earl Spratley got you on that one, didn't he? <laughs> yes, Earl got me good. You got a good little picture of him. Yeah, he... Uh, Combination. He's, a, he's our artist and he made a chicken with a cat head. Yeah. <laughs> It's a more entertaining video than I thought because we flowed. We just flowed, didn't we? Mm-hmm. You know how to get get. You know how to get get. <laughs> you see the welcome to Virginia side down there. Yeah, so we're on the Virginia side right now, but to the left is Tennessee. Mm -hmm. We switched that up on you a little bit. Now this is State Street, but that was West State. No, is this West? This is West State. Yeah, sure. Something. Yeah, I'm, I'm rattled. Yeah, this is West State Street. And the Tennessee Henry Ford birthplace is up here, but we won't go by it today. We don't have the chance, but yeah. just a little house, just out, you know, just nothing special at all. And hopefully, we'll get a chance to come back to that. Well, it's all right. Someday. Now, this is not, obviously, you don't see the development that you do on State Street itself. Mm -hmm. West State's kind of a little bit more... I feel like these are more old, yeah. like historic mom and pop shops that's really yeah. stayed in business for a good while. We've got the nice murals and stuff, though. I like coming down through here. So, to go to the Tennessee Ford House, it's to the left there, yeah. right? Yeah, and you Down there. snake back through a few. Like I said, it's very nondescript when you come up to it. It's a pretty small house, but that makes it even more impressive that somebody that can make such an impact could come from a small place. You know, yeah. It's just past the panhandler. Oh, my gosh. Why yeah. did you have to say that? Well, because, remember last mm. time we were here on our video? Tennessee welcomed you. Yes. I was holding up a sign that said, what, I'm too ugly to work or something. What was it? Something about too ugly to strip. Too ugly to strip. That's what it was. And we said ours would say too sexy to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too sexy to work. Too sexy, too sexy for my job. job. Yeah. <laughs> for my... <laughs> I... Oh my gosh, we're crazy. We are crazy. Okay, if you're on a panhandle, at least get a good, interesting song. You know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> get a few laughs out of it. Somebody like me, I'm more likely to give you the money if you're just honest, you know. Hey, I just don't, you know, just tell me some money. I'm ugly. So, if you took a lift where this Dairy Queen is now, which used to be a Taco Bell, and they just moved it down the road, I'll never understand why they did that. I know. You can go to Steel Creek Park, which is a nice little park down there, and also the Big Red Apple Barn. I was hoping you'd mention that. Yes. I jump in. So, you can get really good produce and stuff from there. Toyota Bristol on the right. Um, we both good bought vehicles. There. Matter of fact, the very vehicle I'm driving right now came from there. That's awesome. Yes. I've had a couple from them. Yeah, they're good people. I've, yeah. I've always enjoyed buying from them. I don't enjoy the sun we're driving into. Either. No, and this on the left is the infamous, well, it used to be Rocket Horse. Now yeah. it's called Side Tracks. But oh, gosh, yeah. you can hear some stories about the Rocket Horse. <laughs> Sounds like you got one to tell us. Well, I was just thinking my family might kill me, but I had two cousins that went down there uh, on the same night, and I guess they had been drinking, and one of them was like, I can't remember which one, was like, hey, he's kind of cute. Uh, I'm going to ask him to dance, and they started dancing, and then they're like, wait, I know who you are, <laughs> and they realized it was their cousin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so it was always a thing that we laughed about. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a little awkward way. <laughs> uh, I won't name names, but I just thought that was so funny. Oh yeah. There's friendship forward and we're coming up on the hospital. Mm-hmm. We're still reaching. Well, you around. spent a unpleasant night there fairly recently, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say a pleasant night, but... I said a very unpleasant night. <laughs> oh, a very unpleasant, yeah. Well, you were there with me, yeah. so... Yeah, when I passed out at home in the middle of the night, I Shane it. was good enough to come pick me up and take me there yeah. to the hospital. I was also good enough to not pull a video camera out. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. How well, bad that, that would be good for me and for them, because that was not a good experience. No. But... 
Oh. No, it wasn't. My dad was there for, he had COVID and he was there for over a month. Yeah. So that's not a place, a house of horrors to me when I look at it sometimes, you know? Yeah. Well, we're closing okay. in on the magical pinnacle. Oh, that's right. It's really built up Bristol, Tennessee, I feel like. But you know what? I feel like in 10 years, that will be gone. They'll build a mall down on the Virginia side, and the kids that are about 15 now are going to be saying, why didn't anybody think of this sooner? <laughs> Stores that you can shop in without going outside. What a great idea. I mean, it is insane to me, the whole concept of a strip mall type I situation. I know. I don't get it. Like, it's cold today. The last place I would want to go is shopping. But well, if it was in a mall, that would be, like, the first place I oh, would yeah. go, you know? Well, then you get to, they get those, they used to get those little sneaky sales, like, say, the Great American Cookie Company. Mm -hmm. You go walking down through there, you don't have a cookie on your mind, one. But exactly. you walk by there and get that smell. And it's like, oh my God. Exactly. Next thing you know, you're buying three or four of them. I couldn't go in the mall without getting an auntie. Oh, yeah. Auntie Ruth and Pretzel. Yeah. I always want to say Ruth. That's, that's what that's I the said, yeah. That's the people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And then, yeah, yeah it's just, but you're not going to drive out of your way to go get that kind of thing. So that makes no sense to me. Me neither. Don't get it. Don't. Or you'd be like passing through somewhere and see the clothing store was having a sale or you know buy one get one free shoes i mean like you said it just brings in so much other business oh, yeah. but you can tell they're not hurting by no? that line at chick-fil-a no and that's what uh about 500 people in there so they got Belt, Marshalls, Bed Bath & Beyond, Michaels, Dick's, Shoe Carnival, Ulta, Five Below, Kirkland's, Boot Barn. To the right was Zaxby's, Chipotle. So pretty much all the food choices are chain stuff that you're used yeah. to just about everywhere. And there's Carmax. Moe's, Jersey Mike's. Yeah. So it's nothing particularly. Uh, Aubrey's and Drake's are kind of... I, I guess they were regional. Oh, okay, regional chains. I think they're kind chains. of regional because yeah. I see them in Knoxville. But. There's American Eagle, Rack Room Shoes, Rue 21, Bath Body Works, Lane Bryant, Maurice's Loft, Eddie Bauer, Lens Crafters. Yes. Um, and they have a huge Bash Pro Shop down here. You can see Best Buy on the right. Um, they got a nice movie theater. I always support Abingdon Cinema because it's locally owned and yeah. not a chain and um, well they like really upgraded burgers. too with their chairs and stuff oh my and gosh I love it I so nice and the popcorn yeah. stuff is amazing so oh yeah, yeah and I hate to be in Bristol and endorsing an Abingdon theater but by golly we give yeah. it up where it's deserved that's exactly right what's the best movie you saw down here down here? Yeah. Elvis. I nah, know. Nah, I knew. I was, I was hoping you'd <laughs> forget so I would it. embarrass you and you're like, no. oh no. Elvis, of course. That was so sad to see. They did not win the Oscar, but. Oh, they didn't? They didn't. But what do you expect from the Oscars, so. Exactly. Incompetence. I can always tell by looking at the movie list, like whatever is the most long, Foreign. weird movie name is what's going to win. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Elvis wasn't woke enough for him, was he? I guess not. <laughs> Every time I see Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, no. Store closing? I didn't know it was one of them that was getting whacked. Oh, I didn't either. That's sad. Oh, that's sad. You know who awful. else is going to be upset, don't you? Frank the Tank and his wife. Oh, from, yeah. From old Maybe school. Maybe Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know. <laughs> Not before I have time. Um, it's actually pretty nice little Saturday. We're, uh, we're going to go to Home Depot. Yeah, buy some wallpaper. Maybe get some flooring. Stuff like that. Maybe Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know. I don't know if we'll have enough time. You know what <laughs> Well, they should have made time because they didn't. Little did they know. It's closing. Yes. And that's a look at the pinnacle. pinnacle. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this look at Bristol, Tennessee. Yes, we've had a good full day in Bristol. Yeah, good long yes. full day. It's getting dark on us right now, even. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's all right. What do you think about Delta Blue's food? We didn't get a review. That. Very good. Oh yeah. Very good food. Yeah, the barbecue was great. Two thumbs up. Oh yeah, and I love corn on the cob too, man. Then. You can't sleep on that. It's oh, good yeah. stuff. So Very good stuff. if you're in the area, check it out for sure. That's right. And you got a little package in the mail special one, didn't you? I did. My own design. Not my holler, not my chickens. Oh my goodness. Now that is so you. Yeah. So, so yeah. everybody may say, not my circus, not my monkeys. Like I'm going to stay out of it. Yeah. Well, here in Appalachia, 
Not my holler, not my chicken. Yeah, because when's the last time we saw a monkey running around here? That's right, but we have chickens everywhere. I haven't even seen a circus in several <laughs> years, so yeah, we got chickens and ever holler up in here, so. That's right. That was designed by yours truly. So, so jump on it because there were going to be hot. They've already sold a bunch and you haven't even plugged it yet. So that's exactly right. This is going to be a hot seller. Yep. All right. So with all that being said, we will see, see you on down, down the road. road.